First, beginning in Annihilation Prologue Number 1, from 2006. Annihilation began when the Annihilation Wave, an overwhelming force from the strange dimension known as the Negative Zone, broke through the crunch to attack the positive matter universe. The Wave, composed of countless insectoid starships and warriors, first destroyed the Kiln, a ring of artificial moons that served both as a super prison and as a generator of nearly limitless power. Then it destroyed the planet Xandar and the Nova Corps, leaving Earth's Richard Ryder as the Galactic Police Force's only survivor. With the help of Khazar and Drax the Destroyer, Nova discovered that Annihilus, who led the Annihilation Wave, had allied with Thanos to conquer the universe. After killing Khazar, Annihilus took his quantum bands and drove off the others. Annihilus freed from Kiln two ancient beings known as Aegis and Tenebrus, whom Galactus had imprisoned there. The Silver Surfer joined with Galactus and his former heralds to fight his foes, but lost. With the help of Drax, Gamora, Ronan the Accuser, and Star-Lord, Nova formed and led the interstellar alliance called the United Fronts. After Thanos captured Moon Dragon, Drax went to rescue her and discovered that Annihilus had turned Galactus and his heralds into a weapon that could destroy planets. Drax freed the Silver Surfer, who in turn freed Galactus. Furious, Galactus attacked the Annihilation Wave. Meanwhile, with the Skrull Empire destroyed, Ronan and the Super Skrull freed the Kree Empire from the control of the traitor's house, Fiero, which had kept the Supreme Intelligence trapped between life and death. Finishing the Supreme Intelligence off, Ronan took control of the Empire. With the Annihilation Wave decimated, Nova, Phyla Vel, and Star-Lord hunted down Annihilus. Phyla took the Quantum Bands from him, and Nova killed him with his bare hands. Later, though, Annihilus' lieutenant, Ravenous, revealed an infant insectoid he believed to be Annihilus Reborn. Soon after, the Phalanx attacked and conquered the Kree Empire, using a techno-organic virus to control their subjects. Star-Lord formed a team to help fight this threat. Phyla Vel, now the new Khazar, and Moondragon hunted for a savior who could defeat the Phalanx, a young, regenerated Adam Warlock. Warlock brought the woman to meet the High Evolutionary. Soon after, Ultron attacked, killing Moondragon and revealing himself as the driving force behind the Phalanx invasion. Later, Ultron forced the High Evolutionary to transfer his mind into Warlock's body. Meanwhile, Ronin, Super Skrull, and a Kree named a Wraith, who can protect others from the Phalanx infection, went to the Kree world controlled by Ravenous and shielded an army of robotic Kree sentries. They then sent them to destroy the Phalanx. At the same time, Nova, Drax, and Gamora reappeared with Warlock of the Technarchy, which had created the Phalanx. The Technarchy Warlock forced Ultron from Adam Warlock's body. When Ultron reassembled himself into a gigantic body, Wraith trapped Ultron's mind within it, and Khazar slew it, ending the war. Comment down below what videos you'd like to see in the future, and when you think we'll see Annihilation in the MCU. Remember to like the video, and subscribe for more nerdy content, and follow me on my various platforms listed in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow.